Hello, on this video we're gonna solve the following problem from Stephen Roman, page 83. Let tau be a linear transformation from V to W and we would like to prove that tau is an isomorphism if and only if it carries a basis for V to a basis for W. So first we're gonna prove the right direction so let tau be an, an isomorphism and b is a basis of v it's a basis for v And in this problem, uh, we are not assuming that V is a finite dimensional vector space. So a basis for, for V can be finite or maybe uh, countable or maybe even uncountable. So we don't know. So, so the cardinality of B is depend on the cardinality of the index set capital I. Okay. So now we claim that uh, the image of B under tau is also a basis for W. So we claim that tau B, which is the set of all image of elements in B, is a basis for W. Okay, so the way we show that a certain set is a basis for a vector space is by showing that this set is span the vector space and also this set is linearly independent. So first we're gonna show that tau b span w so let small w is an arbitrary element of capital w since tau is onto how do we know it is onto because tau is an isomorphism w is equal to tau v for some V in capital V. Now, since B is a basis of V, then this small V can be written as a linear combination of a finite elements in B. So now V is, let's say, something like this. for some alpha 1 up to alpha n in the scalar field and b sub i1 up to b sub i n in b okay notice that now our v, our w is equal to t of v, but the v is this guy. So by the linearity of tau, this is equal to alpha 1 tau of b sub i1 up to alpha sub n tau b sub i n okay so th this shows that w is a linear combination of finitely many elements in tau b right so therefore
tau b is equal to span sorry w is equal to span tau b okay now we're gonna show the linear independence of tau b uh, consider a linear combination of elements in tau b a finite linear combination for example something like this that equal to zero then by linearity we have tau of alpha sub 1 b sub i 1 up to alpha sub n b i sub n is equal to 0 hence Hence, this element inside the tau, this input, must be in the kernel of tau. But since tau is an isomorphism, then the kernel is equal to zero. Therefore, okay, maybe I should uh, say that since tau is injective, then this inside thing is equal to zero but now b sub i1 up to b sub i n are elements of b which is a linear independence set so therefore since b is linearly independence linearly independent then alpha sub 1 up to alpha sub n is equal to 0 therefore b is lin so, sorry therefore tau b is linear independent as well linear this pen is not very responsive linearly independent Okay, so then we are done in proving that whenever tau is an isomorphism, then it carries a basis for V to a basis for W. Okay, so now the opposite direction. So suppose. tau is a linear transformation from v to w such that whenever b is a basis for v then tau b is a basis of w
So we need to show that tau is uh, onto and also injective. I think we can just reverse the argument above. Okay. So, but uh, at the beginning, it is useful to split the proof into left to right and right to left. Later, if you think that you can make the proof more condensed, then you can do it. So we can just do it the both direction at the same time. But at, at the moment, let's just proof from left to the right and from the right to the left. Okay. So in order to show that tau is an isomorphism, we need to show that tau is injective and subjective. In order to show that tau is subjective or injective, we it is enough to show that the kernel of tau is equal to zero. So let x be in the kernel of tau. Okay. Right x to be alpha sub 1 bi 1 alpha sub n bi n where alpha sub 1 up to alpha sub n is in the scalar field and b sub i1 up to b sub i n in v okay then because x is in the kernel we know that zero is equal to tau x by linearity of tau this is exactly alpha sub one tau b i sub one dot 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 up to alpha sub n tau b i sub n okay now we have uh, a statement which says that a linear combination of tau b i one up to tau b i sub n is equal to zero but from the fact that tau b is a basis which is also linearly independent, then each of this alpha sub i need to be equal to zero. Since okay, tau b is linearly independent, then alpha sub 1 up to alpha sub n is equal to 0. What does it mean? Then it means x is equal to 0. Thus, x equal to 0, which is slow response and the kernel of tau is equal to zero meaning that the kernel of tau only consists the zero vector okay so the next one we would like to show that tau is subjective there are many ways of showing subjectivity we can show that the image of tau is exactly w okay or every element in w has a pre-image okay let w in capital w since tau b is a basis for w then this w is equal to beta 1 tau b i 1 up to beta 2 tau 
P I M right for some beta 1 up to beta m in the scalar field n tau b sub i1 up to tau b i sub m in tau b okay now this w can be written as tau of beta 1 b i 1 up to beta m b sub i m okay where beta 1 b sub i 1 plus up to beta m b sub i m is an element of uh, it's a linear combination of elements in beta so this is element of span b well actually we don't really need to sh to say this uh, what we really need to say that the w has a pre-image so this extra information is not needed although it is a correct statement so then w is equal to tau of that and we conclude that tau is onto so since tau is subjective and injective, therefore tau is an isomorphism. And we are done. Okay, so thank you for watching. See you again on the next video. Goodbye for now.